Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts because I am going to tell you something that could sound impossible and unphysical. Yet, it is completely true. The smallest planet discovered so far, with a mass smaller than half that of the Earth, is called Kepler 70b, and it is hotter than our Sun. It is so hot that scientists could not believe their eyes when they first saw the data. Imagine being an astrophysicist and finding a temperature of 6,830 degrees Celsius for a planet, knowing that your own sun has a surface temperature of only 5,777 degrees Celsius. Other known elements for the planet are its orbital period, which is very short, something like six hours, and its radius of 0.75 terrestrial radii. The planet has a mass of 4.45 times that of the Earth. Given all these properties, astronomers think the planet would be the rocky core of a gas giant with volatile outer layers that evaporated during the period in which the parent star went through the red giant phase. It is true that this is what a planet like Saturn or Jupiter would look like in the future, when the human race won't exist anymore, at least not on planet Earth because the Sun will destroy everything while evolving through the late stages of its life. Oh, I almost forgot. Scientists think the planet is still evaporating, which means that it could become even smaller as time passes by. But this is just the beginning. You have literally no idea how many strange worlds are out there. Follow me in this video to get to know more about them. GJ504b, for example, is a planet that has four times the mass of Jupiter, but is almost the same size. Until now, everything seems quite normal. The thing is, believe it or not, this planet is pink. This is quite an unusual color for a planet. It's so fancy. Why is that? How is it possible for a planet to be pink? The planet is about 160 million years old, which makes it a newborn much, much younger than our solar system's age. When a planet is this young, we know that it changes a lot in a small amount of time. For example, at this age, a planet is changing and losing heat from its formation, which is why it gives it a magenta color. But this was an extraordinary planet. Let's go on to more normal, ordinary planets. I'm going to show you, even if they seem quite normal, some of them can be really strange. Take, for example, a Neptune-like exoplanet called Waterworld. It has a mass of more than eight Earths and a radius of 0.24 times that of Jupiter. This planet also contains water, so it might be a promising candidate for life as we know it. But, unluckily, it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. Moreover, the planet's atmosphere is quite different from the one on Earth. Why is that? Well, you need to know that Waterworld has extreme pressure and heat, and so the atmosphere consists of water in plasma form, something so strange that scientists could not believe it the first time they saw the data. On this planet, the water is in a constant supercritical fluid form, and the phases of water don't exist. Let's say this water has some properties of both liquid and gaseous water, but it's something that we've never experienced in any laboratory, river, or sea on Earth. The planet you're facing right now is called J1407b, and it is one of the strangest planets ever discovered. It's located about 434 light years away from Earth, and if you look at it, you will notice it resembles Saturn. The only thing is that it's much, much bigger than our gaseous giant. Astronomers have struggled to measure its mass, but it is thought that it is something like 10 to 40 times the mass of Jupiter. This planet is of course a giant planet, but it's nothing like the planets in our solar system. In fact, it is much larger than the biggest planet in our solar system. But maybe the most intriguing feature of this planet is not something related to its size or mass. What really amazed scientists all over the world is the presence of an enormous ring system around the planet, 
Such rings extend for a very long distance, something like tens of millions of kilometers in diameter. Better saying, this system of rings is composed of 30 rings, and every ring is actually made up of dust and particles that vary in size and mass. For example, you can find dust of the size of a micrometer, but also small and bigger asteroids orbiting around this planet. If you were in a spaceship ready to dive into the atmosphere of this planet, you might want to think twice before hitting one of these rings. According to some estimates, the diameter of the entire ring system is something like 120 million kilometers, which means that this ring system is 200 times larger than the rings around Saturn. Think about it. If you ever happened to see Saturn through a telescope, you'd have noticed the shape of the rings around it. Now, imagine something 200 times bigger. It would be dominating our night sky and would appear as an object the size of the moon. However, these rings are not destined to stay like this forever. Instead, they will change sooner or later due to the fact that among these rings, satellites of the planet will form from dust and particle encounters. As some over-densities grow up in these rings, they clean up their orbit and usually the dust being a dragging factor such as satellites will migrate inside, losing angular momentum by friction with dust and thus getting closer to the planet. This is also how Saturn's moons were formed. Before moving on, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can continue to improve and make these videos even better for you, the viewer. Plus, be sure to subscribe the channel by clicking the bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. WASP-76b is an exoplanet that lies about 640 light years from the Sun. It's an ultra-hot Jupiter that zips around its parent star once every 1.8 Earth days. This is a really close distance from the star. It has molded the gas giant into a bizarre hell world with no analog in our own solar system. For example, the huge amounts of stellar radiation that WASP-76b absorbs have puffed up the exoplanet immensely. It is 1.85 times wider than Jupiter, despite possessing only 85% of the planet's mass. WASP-76b is also tidally locked, always showing the same face to its star just as the Moon only ever shows its near side to us here on Earth. And WASP-76b is incredibly hot. Astronomers estimate that its perpetual night side is around 1,300 degrees Celsius, while temperatures on its day side hover around 2,400 degrees Celsius, hot enough to vaporize many metals. That's also why scientists think that strong winds carry vaporized iron from the exoplanet's day side to its cooler night side, where it condenses and forces molten iron rain. Basically, on this planet, it rains melted iron. Ouch! As you can see, space seems to be crowded with such bizarre planets. And some of them are so bizarre that one could hardly believe these celestial bodies really exist at all. For example, another planet with a similar name to the previous one is WASP-107b. It is a peculiar world because it has a density of cotton candy. This can seem quite normal, but it's not. This actually makes scientists revise their understanding of how gas giants form. This planet is very close to its star, over 16 times closer than the Earth to the Sun. As big as Jupiter, but 10 times lighter, WASP-107b is one of the least dense exoplanets known to date, a type of planet that astrophysicists have dubbed superpuff or cotton candy. The discovery team carried out an analysis to determine the most likely internal structure of the planet and came to a surprising conclusion. With such a low density, the planet must have a solid core of no more than four times the mass of Earth. This means that more than 85% of its mass is enclosed in a thick layer of gas that surrounds its core. By comparison, Neptune, which has a similar mass to WASP-107b, has only 5 to 15% of its total mass in its gas layer. But how can such a low-density planet be formed? And how did it manage to prevent its huge gas layer from dissolving? 
especially given the planet's proximity to its star. Planets form in the disk of dust and gas that surrounds a young star, the protoplanetary disk. Classical models of gas giant formation are based on what we know about Jupiter and Saturn and predict that a solid core at least 10 times more massive than the Earth is required to accumulate a large amount of gas before the disk dissolves. Without a massive core, the gas giant planets were unable to surpass the critical threshold needed to build and maintain their large gas envelopes. For WASP-107b, the most plausible scenario is that the planet formed very far from the star, where the gas in the disk is cold enough and its accretion can happen very quickly. Thereafter, the planet was able to migrate to its present location, either through interactions with the disk or with other planets in the system. Hmm, speaking of cotton candy, I'm getting a bit hungry. What about you? Anyway, always speaking about weird planets, in 2007, a cool planet called Gliese 581c was discovered. It is an exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf Gliese 581, which is a faint star in the Libra constellation, about 20 light years away from us. It's classified among the super Earth, and what makes it so special is that it is considered to orbit in the habitable zone of its planetary system. It constantly shows one side to its host star, just as the Moon does with the Earth. This phenomenon is known as a tidal lock. The models developed on the evolution of the orbit of Gliese 581c over time suggest that the tidal warming resulting from a lock would play an important role in the geology of the planet. Such models predict that tidal warming would fuel a surface heat flux three times greater than that exerted by Jupiter on its satellite Io, resulting in significant geological activity possibly characterized by plate tectonics and intense volcanism. If you land on the light side of it, temperatures are so hot that you would probably instantly melt. But on the other side, temperatures are so cool that you would probably instantly freeze. This means that even if the planet is said to be habitable, only a tiny strip on its surface would be good for life as we know it to grow and develop. It is, indeed, an unusual surface. But don't worry, we will develop a technology to both reach that planet and be able to survive there. I mean, once we landed on that strip, everything will be fine. Well, in this video, we have shown you how once again reality can overcome our imagination. Every now and then, astronomers find something unusual, unexplainable, among exoplanets. The first thing to do when scientists find something strange is to make sure that the observations were not affected by errors. Then, if everything was real and the observations were conducted in the right manner, the time comes to study these planets in more detail in order to understand the physical mechanisms that explain the observed unusual properties. And a scientist must always be ready to change his mind and to criticize the models because our models are not perfect. This is how science progresses towards its bright future full of iron rain, pink planets, better models, and who knows, maybe some other form of life. This, for science, is the era of exoplanets. This video ends here. Thanks for watching everyone. What are your thoughts about this video? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to share. Science needs you and you need science. See you next time for another amazing video.